Okay, today's video is entitled AAC Capacitive Reactants Part 3, and in this video we're going to determine the current, the relatively simple capacitive circuit. And this is the problem that we have. We have an 8 microfarad capacitor that's connected to a 120 volt AC voltage source. If the frequency of the source is 60 hertz, we want to know what is the current through the circuit. Now we're going to determine the current. Just one I just want to point out, I didn't specify here whether this is the RMS or the peak, the max voltage. So I don't know, you could, it could be either one really, the max or the RMS. If you have the max, then you'd be in the max current. If you had the RMS, then you'd be getting the RMS current. So don't mix them up and think about what you're looking for. And that's the answer that you'll be getting, whether it's RMS or maximum. Okay, in order to solve this problem, we're going to use Ohm's law. V equals I times R. We don't have a resistive circuit, we have a capacitive circuit, so now we're going to substitute the R for XC, which is our capacitive reactant. So V, the voltage, is equal to the current times the capacitive reactants, X being the symbol for reactants. We're going to solve for the current. That tells us in order to solve for the current, we need to know the voltage and the capacitive reactants, or the reactants of the capacitor. We're given the voltage 120 volts. We're also given the capacitance of the capacitor and uh, the frequency of the source. So therefore, we can simply use this equation to solve for the capacitive reactants. Xc is equal to 1 over 2 times pi times f times c, frequency times capacitance. Plug the values in, we get 1 over 2 times pi times 60 times 10 to the minus 6 minus 6, because it's microfarads, 10 to the minus 6 is micro. And we get that the reactance of this capacitor is 320, 300, 332 ohms. Now we can simply plug the values in for the voltage, 120 volts divided by 332 ohms, and we get that the current in this circuit, whether it's the max or the RMS, is 0, 0,36 amperes. Okay, so that's all we want to do. Nice, straight and to the point, short and to the point. We know the current, and thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all the following three things. Subscribe to my channel, leave me a thumbs up for this video, or give me a thumbs up for this video and then leave a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.